Hello everyone, how are all of you? Um, so as you can see, we are back again on our YouTube channel. I'm going to cook up something a little bit tasty. Really simple um, and very quick. So for anyone in a rush, this is pretty perfect. Perfect, um, Especially if you have a cheeky little bottle of Perno kicking around. Um, I mean, I don't know if you will, because not many people drink Perno. Um, so... What we're gonna to create today is a nice little pan seared piece of salmon. And this is mainly on sauce today to learn like a really nice sauce for fish. Um, so we're gonna do, yeah, a tarragon and perno cream sauce. Really, really easy, really simple. Um, something you can definitely do at home or in a professional kitchen. But if you're doing it in a professional kitchen, I'm sure you're a chef who knows how to make this. Um, right, let's get cracking. First stage we have to do now is to grab our cheeky little onion. Slice this beauty in half. It's gonna peel the way layers. Like so. Get that down to the chopping board. I personally like to do sauces with fine diced onions. Um, I'm not sure why, I just like it. It looks a little bit more refined, a bit neater, and you're not chomping through stringy bits of onion. It's meant to be a sauce my preference. So we're just going to quickly dice this up with one of our beautiful Perusa Nikiris available on our website. So I'm going to go nice and steady because I'm quite tired today. It's been a long day at the workshop. So anyway, I'm just going to cut it through. Like so. Oh, that's so sharp. Right, so now we've kind of done our little slices to get it prepped to dice. We're now just going to dice this onion quite finely. Perfect. Right, um, now we can get this pan preheated. It'll balance nicely. There we go. Crank that up a little bit. So I'm now going to add my onions to the pan. See, we've got some lovely fresh tarragon. I really like fresh tarragon. It's much more pungent than the kind of dried. So we're now just gonna just chop this up kind of roughly. Now we've chopped up our beautiful tarragon. We're just gonna leave that just for a second whilst we sweat our onions off. Um, the reason we want to add a tarragon in more near the end is so it keeps that beautiful vibrant green color and gives you a fresher kind of flavor if we were to put it in now it would this would wilt really kind of badly you wouldn't get that fresh tarragon flavor which is what we want and that's going to complement beautifully with a perno that kind of aniseed flavor that's what we're going for so as you can see now we have got our onions in the pan sweating away um, this is very bad practice to use a metal spoon in a non-stick pan. I do not have a wooden spoon today. So now, obviously, seasoning is very important. So we're just gonna add a lovely little bit of the Cornish sea salt. Just gonna add that in with the onions. And that will draw out the moisture as well. And intensify the flavor. Oh, and one really, really important thing that all chefs need, or any foodies, yeah, home cooks, your apron. And we just so happen to have a brand new one just designed recently. Have a look at that beauty. Leather straps, look at that denim color. Pretty, pretty tasty. So if you wanna find a nice little gift for anyone who's into their food, cheeky little apron, all this beautiful chef's tunic. So now for one of the main ingredients, which is a perno. Perno is such a beautiful alcoholic beverage. Um, it's very aniseedy. Goes very well with fish tarragon, hence the combination now. So we're just gonna add this into the onions and get a nice flambe going. Um, one to burn off the alcohol, and two because it does look really, really cool. So you can get a pan nice and hot, and then oh, there we go. As you can see, Perno has quite a lot of alcohol. In. So we're just gonna burn off the alcohol in there now. That's definitely warming up the workshop. We like that. It's now taking a little while to burn out because there is quite a lot of alcohol in it. So we're just going to smother it. Go on. There we go. There you go. All 
Right. And we're now just going to reduce this down just a little bit. Oh, he can smell it now. Really nice and strong. And it's up again. <laughs> so we'll just carry on leaving that to burn. So again, to add a little bit of freshness, we're going to add some spring onions. Again, we didn't want to add them at the start because we don't want to stew them. We want these fresh and nice. So I'm just going to cut them back a little bit just to neaten it. I'm just going to add this to the tarragon. Perfect. So that is now good to go, as Bear Grylls would say. Right. So now the uh, pudding has reduced really nicely. Ooh, it's that's smelling really, really good. We're now just going to add the spring onions and the tarragon. So we've got that freshness. Give it a little stir around. Oh, that's smelling so good. Cool, so now we've got the onions, the spring onions, the tarragon, perno in there. It's all sweating off, it's all reducing. Um, it's going to now add a lovely Cornish Rodders clotted cream, double cream. So a little dash of that in there. Oh, it's looking so good. Again, a little pinch of sea salt, Cornish sea salt. A little bit more. A little bit of pepper in there. So we see all that goodness now. The smell of it is just absolutely stunning. And the colour, just creamy, slightly yellow, golden. Now we've got a beautiful sauce done. Um, that's going to stay hot for quite a while, so we can get our salmon on. Um, I've pre-seasoned this already. Um, doing this on the skin side also helps the fish stop from sticking to the pan. So I say it's always good to season you know, skin side um, and it will reduce the risk of it sticking and being a pain to plate up. So the pan's preheated now, it's nice and warm. So I'm just going to add the salmon in. Lovely sizzle to that. Lovely sizzle. And because of my wonderful girlfriend being here to do the filming, um, I'm adding an extra piece for her. So, our fish is very, very, very nearly there. Um, so we're just gonna quickly check on the sauce. It's been sitting now nicely and it's become real nice and smooth, silky. Almost like a velouté, it's kind of holding just on the back of the spoon. Give it a little taste. It is important to taste. It's also very nice to taste. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, that is good. Oh, it's a strong kind of aniseed flavour, creamy, quite sweet. Oh, that is good. All right, sauce is perfect. That's spot on. And come to the fish now. With salmon especially, you've got to be very careful about overcooking it. Um, it can become very dry, so you have to be quite delicate. That is now ready to cook. Ready to cook. We cooked it. That is now ready to plate up. Now we have our salmon beautifully cooked. The perno cream and tarragon sauce is ready to go. Um, and we have, again, a few little fresh pieces of um, spring onion and tarragon, just again to get a fresh flavor. So, again, this is really rustic. This is mainly a thing about sauce. Yeah. So we're just gonna add this to the bowl. We're not too worried about presentation on this. There will be other videos where it will be um, you know, tips on how to plate up and impress people at their dinner party. Just gonna add that. Put that pan aside for our KP, which is my girlfriend. And with this beautiful tarragon perno cream sauce. Oh, look at that. Just laying that all over the salmon. You might be able to tell, yes, I may have you know, left the catering industry. I'm no longer a chef. I'm still very passionate about food. So that's nicely played up. We're just gonna add now just our 
fresh tarragon. Let's bring onions. This will just bring another level, level of flavour. And there we have it. Pan-seared salmon with a tarragon cream sauce. Perfect.